Hey guys, Crewman here. And your regularly scheduled video today is not happening. It snowed a lot outside. If you saw my short this morning, you maybe saw it. I spent most of the day watching my kids and then digging out of the snow because, you know, snow days when you're an adult means a lot more work than normal. So when I was out plowing the snow, uh, I had an idea in my head. I was just kind of thinking, you know, what are my thoughts on the 4070? Because, you know, when I'm snow, when I'm shoveling out snow, I think of GPUs. I don't know if it's good or bad, but it is what it is. And I was like, well, how do I compare the 4070 to the 4060 Ti for mining? Now, obviously for gaming, that's not even a competition, but for, for mining, with the recent change in pricing for the 4070, kind of made me wonder. And I was like, maybe I should do a little bit of a deep dive on it. And I said, why not? This seems like the perfect time to do it. So as you can see up here, we've got the 4060T, the 4070, well, hold on, my hands are messed up. We've got the 4060 Ti and the 4070. Uh, you know, the differences between these things have been talked about to death. The only really big one that matters for this comparison really is just the memory bus. Obviously, we've got a 192-bit bus on the 4070 and then a 128-bit bus on the 4060 Ti. You know, that comes into play in a second. And in this video, I'm basically just going to compare 4060 Ti's and 4070's and then at the end, I will give you my thoughts on which one is better because it's not, it's not like it's clear cut or anything. There's, there's obviously there's differences, but they're a lot more alike than you would think. So without further ado, let's dig into it. So the first thing I want to go over is this. Uh, I want to talk about the average price. You can see everything up here. Basically, let me move myself out of the way. Basically, let's start with the average price. The average price we're going to use is $500 for a 4070 and $350 for a 4060 Ti. This is about what you can find them on Amazon, on eBay, etc. So we use that right now. Obviously, if the price for one tanks and the price for another one goes up, changes this total video entirely, and I'll just do another one. But at the current prices, that's what we're going to go off of. So the first thing I want to go over is hash rate per core and per memory algorithm. I'm using Ergo and Pyram for this example. Uh, now, I just want to make you guys aware, I own two 4070s and like 12 4060 Ti's. So I have, I feel like, a decent enough spread between all the GPUs to get some, what I think are accurate numbers. So we're going to use Ergo as our memory algorithm, and the 4070 gets 115.8 uh, mega hash. The 4060 Ti, now, I want to say that mine are all over the place. I have from 65 to 71. So I took the average of the 12. So I got 67 Ergo or 67 mega hash on Ergo. So for Pyrum, we've got 6.3 giga hash for the core, and then we've got 4.7 giga hash uh, on the 4060 Ti. Uh, 6.3 is on the 4070. So basically for $1,000, as you can see right here, you get $1,000-ish because it comes out to about 1,050 for the 4060 Ti's, but you get the point. You either get two 4070s or three 4060 Ti's. So here's your total hash um, your total hash per thousand dollars, you get 231 giga hash, uh, um, mega hash. I mean, on ergo, 201 mega hash on ergo for the three forty sixty TIs. You get 12.6 pyrum on the forty seventies, and then you get 14.1 pi um, giga hash pyrum on the three X forty sixty TIs. So you get about 15% more core hash rate on the 34060 Ti's. And of course on the 4070's you get about 15% more memory. So basically what that is, uh, <laughs> so it's kind of like a wash in a weird way. Um, let's go to the power consumption. I just want to run through all these numbers first and I'll, I'll give you my thoughts at the end. So if you look at the power consumption, right, you're going to get uh, 180 watts triple mining on the, a single 4070 and 120 watts on a single 4060 Ti. So it actually comes out to a straight wash. So it's it's like a wash everywhere. Let's do one more comparison that I think doesn't matter now, but could matter in the future. Let's do resale value, right? So the resale value on the 4060 Ti's will obviously be worse because gamers hate them. They're terrible gaming GPUs and you should never buy these things for gaming. The 4070 is a lot better. I mean, it, it has its flaws as a gaming GPU, but it's definitely better. So I definitely think it will have better resale value going forward. Resale value is also kind of a loaded question. Like, do you, are you going to resell to miners? Are you going to resell to gamers? When are you going to resell? 
So, I mean, there's, there's all of those things, but you can actually say without a doubt that the 4070 will resell better to gamers than the 4060 Ti. So there's that. So back to the original question. Do you, do you buy two 4060 Ti, 4070s or three 4060 Ti's? I think, it, I think there's three things you have to consider. Um, you have, the first one is density. Obviously three GPUs is more than two. So from a density perspective, what, what's more important to you? The next thing is, are you more impo are you more concerned with memory algorithms or core algorithms? If you're con more concerned with, if like, if you want to hedge your bets that memory algorithms could be important because they are very important. Now you got to remember, I'm talking from a position where my farm is mostly 3070s, even though I am a true believer in only 40 series going forward. Memory algorithms are very important. And you have Carlson, you have Ironfish that are going to memory algorithms. So if you believe more that if you're more worried about your potential for memory algorithms, hash rate going forward, 4070 is, I guess, what you would be concerned about. If you think it's just core all the way and memory is just a secondary consideration, 4060 Ti, I guess, theoretically. Um, power consumption, they're, they're the same. <laughs> So then again, it goes, and then finally it goes to resale value. Obviously, I think the 4070 has better resale value. So these are all things to consider. I mean, <laughs> this is a really tough one to be quite honest with you. I think for me going forward, I don't really have a preference if we're being 100% honest. For me, it's just whichever ones I get cheaper. If I find that the 4070 somehow, if I can get them under $550. Like if I get a 4070 at $450, to me, that's the same thing as like a $315 4060 Ti. So I'm buying whichever one I can get at the cheaper price. That's all it comes down to for me is straight price. I think these are both fantastic GPUs and I don't really think there's a wrong answer, but it really is interesting to break this down on how close it is. You have a few pros in the 4070s column and a few pros in the 4060 Ti's. I think at the end of the day, if you're, you know, if you're comparing, you know, you have the 4070 has you on density and it has it on resale value. So I think I would have to give a slight, ever so slight average to the four, to the 4070 over the 4060 Ti. But guys, it's really close. So anyway, thank you for watching this video. Um, please like and subscribe. Let me know down in the comments which one you guys like. I think the 4070 has a slight advantage but I'm buying whichever one is cheaper. I don't care whichever one I have. They're both great, can't miss buys for, for Crew Man. Again, thank you guys for watching. We are so very close to 3,000 subs. We'll get back to our regularly scheduled programming tomorrow. I hope you guys enjoyed your snow day. Crew Man, out.